<laughs> I think he's right. Our wildlife woman, Ellie Harrison, is here. The thing with these parakeets is that they're rather good at, and I'm sorry to have to show you scenes like this, before the watershed, but they are they are rather good at breeding, aren't they? They're, they're, they're coming on a bundle. Absolutely, and that's why by 2010 they're estimating their population is going to be 50,000 because they're hard So the pictures have gone now, we can all relax, <laughs> by the way. Does that make them a pest, though? Because I think they're quite endearing. Absolutely, it's really your perception, and it's also about how they compete with uh, resources with our native species. Yeah. That's what it's really about. Okay, so what else has uh, what else has come here recently? We've heard we've heard tell of wallabies being sighted <laughs> in various it's places. It's absolutely astonishing, but we have redneck wallabies on the Isle of Man. Oh. And and in fact, off a tiny island on Loch Lomond, and it's been known that when the waters freeze, they make their way across to the mainland. How so. on earth did they get there? The, in, there's a, a they nature can't swim reserve. With those little arms, no, I'm no, sure. exactly. There's a nature reserve on the Isle of Man. In the 1960s, a breeding pair escaped and got it on, and now there's a population of about 80 on the Isle of Man. Well, it's a weird uh, sight. Wild boar. Wild boar, they're about six or seven counties across the south of England. They escaped in the 1980s from a wild boar farm and now they're marauding their way across the south of England. I mean, you wouldn't want to meet one on a dark night, no, would you? No, they're quite so... aggressive, actually. You need to be quite wary. You wouldn't see that many, but they are there. And crayfish are quite prevalent, I hear. Crayfish are quite a big problem. The American great crayfish uh, is competing really directly with the British great crayfish. Who's winning? Crayfish. The American Why? crayfish. They are cannibalistic. Better funded, probably. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> they're cannibalistic. And they're also competing for uh, food, for territory, and for females. And they can walk on land as well, can't they? So they can get from lake to lake, which are Absolutely. pitifully inadequate crayfish can't. Absolutely, yeah. So they're, they're quite prolific. They're an alien species, too. And finally. Dormice, edible dormouse. This is the edible dormouse. The edible dormouse. Well, you can eat them if you want to. You but couldn't eat that. Like, <laughs> come on, it's just too cute. Well, what the Romans did back in the day is they fattened them up in jars for the purpose of eating, and they've been in the UK since about the beginning of the 1900s. So are, are our dormice inedible, then? Well, everything's edible if yeah. you choose to. You can eat roadkill, you can eat anything you want to, but uh, the Romans had a particular palate for so it. So they've been here ages, those edible They've been ones. here since the beginning of the 1900s, so they came over yeah. from Europe. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. If you've seen any of that lot or any...